Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be showing you guys how I make lavender essential oil from scratch. I'm so excited to be sharing this video today, like, oh, so keen because I've been wanting to make my own essential oils for so, so, so long now. It's been like just too long, I think. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. I actually started out by growing some lavender, which has just shot up. It's so big now. Like, look at that. It's absolutely massive. This was the lavender that I planted in my DIY garden bed video, which I showed you guys a while back and is absolutely skyrocketed. Don't mind Ari. <laughs> she often just wanders through the garden, trampling my plants. Anywho, this is lavender. So I am going to start picking these lavender stems, just like this one. I'm going to start picking them. As you can see, there's so many. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of lavender that I'm going to dry out and then just like let it dry for a few weeks. And then from there, I'll make the essential oils. So I thought I'd show you guys me just clipping away and picking the lavender from my garden. So I got my trusty scissors and I'm ready to start. Ta-da! <laughs> Here is my bunch of lavender. Now I'm going to go and dry this out, which I'll show you guys how I do that um, now. <laughs> My little lavender plants being leaf flowered, but like not an insect way or anything. <laughs> that sounded really wrong. I wanted to keep some on there though because lavender is really good for bees. I'm trying to like encourage a lot of bees in our area just to help with bee populations and things like that. I always like try and help out. So I left a lot of the flowers on there so the bees can use it. I'm going to go and tie this bundle up and I'll show you guys how I do that now. Oh, I feel like an old grandma. <laughs> All right, so I got my little bunch of lavender. Um, I tried to get on like the more kind of side. I wanted to have a lot of lavender to use to make lots of essential oil with. Now they said to cut and dry enough lavender to make at least one ounce of lavender essential oil with. So I'm guesstimating this is how much I'll be needing. Probably around this. Just a bunch of lavender. Now they said to dry them out. You're going to collect them up in a bunch like this. Probably even them out so they're not all sticking up so high. Smells so good. I love lavender. I swear it's like my favorite scent. Like, and out of all the essential oils, lavender would be my top favorite. That'll do. So to dry it out, you're gonna grab two elastic bands like so. Oh no. <laughs> I've lost my second elastic band. Oh, it's right. It's under my phone. We're gonna grab two elastic bands like so, and you're gonna put one just under the head of the flowers. So I'll show you guys. Oh, I can get it on. Just stretching it. Oh, gosh, that's not easy. Ooh, there we go. I don't want to break the stems. Oh, got it. There we go. So you have one just under the heads of the flowers, just like that. And then you're going to put one at the base. So the bottom of the stems. So I'm gonna put it around here because this, the stems are very uneven. Some are longer than others. So I'm just gonna pop it there. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Like so. Voila, voila, voila. There we go. <laughs> and basically what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna find a dry, dark, warm spot for the flowers to just hang upside down. So you're going to just tie them or like hang them upside down in a dry, dark, warm spot for at least two to four weeks or just until the lavender flowers actually dry out. Now, keep in mind, you want to actually protect them from sunlight to help them retain the best color, I guess, like the purple color in them. And also you want to make sure to put a sheet or cloth beneath the lavender bundle that you're drying out just to help catch any buds or blooms that might fall during that time while it's drying out. So like I said, it takes around two to four weeks. I'll let you know how long mine takes to dry out. I'm sure it'll probably be around that time. But you wanna make sure you're checking every so often just to see when the lavender's dry. So just go in there every day, a few days or so, and just see how they're going. You'll know it's finished drying out when you brush the flowers and the flower petals, I guess, fall easily from the stem. Now, if you were to use them in sachets, like little flower potpourri sachets or things like that, or in baking, you could actually brush the flower stem, like flower bits off or leave them on to use for those for baking and things like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go hang mine up in my dry, dark, warm spot out of the sunlight. I'll show you where I'm gonna put it. All right, <laughs> I found my string. So I'm going to tie the bundle up 
in my garage just there. Alright, I might just hang it over here. So, I'm just gonna choose a little. Ta da! It looks so good! Hanging perfectly. Alrighty. I'm gonna let that dry there and I'm just gonna put a little blanket under it. Hey guys, so it's been about four or five weeks maybe. It's been a little longer than I actually needed to leave it for. I kind of forgot about it. My bad. When I was just doing other things like over these four weeks. And I remembered this week and I was like, oh, it'll be ready by now. So I have my lavender all ready to go. Let me show you. So I have two bunches now because I picked some more recently. Because I was like, my garden's just getting really, really big. So I have a little bit more lavender to use. This was the original bunch, the really neat bunch, the one that I took a lot of time to make and this is just the one that I super rushed. So you can see, like, they're pretty, perfectly done, and then boom, what happens when I'm lazy. So they're ready to go, I'm going to bring them down now and turn them into lavender essential oil. So as you can see, it's like a lot drier than it was naturally because it's been drying for four weeks. You hear that? But it's like crunching underneath my hands, which is, which is exactly what you want when you're drying out lavender. So that's perfect and ready to go now. Same with this one. You can hear, it's like crunchy. So it's like perfect, all ready to go. Oh, but I forgot to mention, I'll be making two types of lavender essential oil today. One's going to be with coconut oil and the other one is with an alcohol-based base. <laughs> so you can decide between which of, the, which of the two that you'd like to make yourself or you can make both like I am. I just thought I'd make one and then the other and then see which one works out the best. So when in future when I go to make it, I know which one I prefer or I could just make both again in the future just because I can. So I decided to make both today and share that with you guys. But feel free to just make one or the other or both as well. And do let me know which one's your favorite at the end as well because I'll share my favorite with you, with you guys at the end when I've found my favorite or if I don't have a favorite, I'll just say that as well. But anyway, let's get making this essential oil. So once you've finished harvesting and drying out your lavender, grab your dried lavender and add it to a clean glass jar. Just the flowers though, you can compost the stems. This is what I did, I just composted the stems after I trimmed off all the different flowers and the flower buds and put them into the glass jar. So once you've added the lavender buds to the glass jar, you can pour 10 ounces of liquid coconut oil over the lavender in the glass jar until the lavender is completely covered. Then you want to secure the lid tightly onto the jar and shake well. I just gently shook from side to side the lavender oil just to make sure that it was all completely covered. Then you store the jar near a window but not in direct sunlight, again because the light can impact the properties of the lavender oil, just to let it infuse for 7 to 10 days. Shake every day or so to make sure that the lavender is completely covered by the oil. When making the lavender essential oil with alcohol, you're going to use a mortar and pestle or just a spoon and bowl like I used and you want to gently crush the dried lavender flowers to release the oil before combining it with vodka. Keep in mind though, you're just bruising the flowers with the back of the spoon or pestle, not making oatmeal. Too much agitation will result in lavender soup, which is not what you want. Next, you want to transfer the crushed lavender into a mason jar or any type of glass jar. Just avoid plastic jars so the plastic doesn't seep into the liquid. 
Now you're going to pour vodka over the lavender. You want to make sure to fully submerge the lavender in vodka. Then you're going to tightly secure the jar with a lid and shake well again. Store the jar near a window, but again not in direct sunlight, to infuse for 7-10 to 10 days and gently shake every day or so. Okay, so it has been about actually like four weeks rather than the week that you only need to let it sit for because I was actually waiting for my bottles, my little uh, amber apothecary bottles to arrive. I ordered them on Amazon. I'll link below where I found them as well. So I needed more of these because I had none at home. I've used all mine in other DIY products that I've made. So I've been waiting on these to arrive and because I didn't pay for express postage because I'm like nah <laughs> they took longer to get here so it's just like a little dropper bottle that I was waiting for to arrive because I want to keep mine in a like an amber bottle because it's dark and it helps to protect the oil from light damaging the properties in the oil so this is the coconut oil this is four weeks later you only need to leave it for one week for both of the oils just leave it for one week don't need to do four so this is the coconut oil version it doesn't look too much different to when i started soaking the lavender in it except that the lavender is just more i guess soaked that you can see without the label in the way so that's pretty much what it looks like four weeks later and then the one that i used with vodka is a different color now so it's actually um, changed color it's now more of a I guess amber brownie golden color and the, it actually smells strongly of alcohol so this has turned into lavender vodka that I wouldn't recommend drinking it so you can, it actually is a tincture kind of recipe so you can like take really minute doses of it for health benefits and things like that but you really need to research how much of the tincture that you should have and also <laughs> Don't have it one that's been sitting there and fermenting for four weeks. Just have one that's been there for a week because it can absorb other properties in the lavender that you may not want necessarily want for yourself. Like it can be toxic. So just leave it for one week if you're making the tincture. I'll show in a future recipe how to use that lavender tincture for health benefits and also how to make it properly. So this is just the lavender oil version that I'll be using as a substitute for essential oil. So instead of using lavender essential oil, I'm going to be using my different lavender oils here. This one doesn't smell too, too different. Oh, it does have a strong smell of lavender. Oh, it smells really nice. Um, not as strong as, say, your lavender essential oil, but this one just smells really strongly of lavender and of vodka. Ooh, smells almost like those Christmas puddings that you get. <laughs> so I'm going to now just sieve out the lavender pieces and I'm just gonna pop them in my compost. Don't mind Ari, she's just barking. There's a storm approaching, so I think she's barking at the storm. And then I'm also going to sieve out this lavender and put it into the compost as well. I'm going to put it into my little apothecary bottles. And it's ready to use for future DIYs that I want to make things with. So I'm going to be using it as, as like a few drops in, say, my, my baths for like a more uh, relaxing feel. Because lavender is really great for calming and soothing and relaxing. Fantastic if you have anxiety or depression. I'm really using I'm using it for my anxiety. I find it very helpful. The smell of lavender is just instantly calming. I'm also going to use it as like a few drops on my pillow and things at night to help me sleep better because I've strugg been struggling to sleep at night. Just my mind is constantly racing, so it's a good way to sort of wind down for the night. Yeah, there's a few other different things you can use lavender oil for, which I'll link in the description below. My blog post on that, where I share so many different ways you can use lavender oil. I also use it in other DIYs, so like my bath bomb recipe. I use it in like lip balm, in uh, what else, else do I use it? You can use it in deodorant, making your natural deodorant if you want yourself to smell like lavender. It smells amazing. Honestly, lavender would be my favourite scent. There's just so many different things you can lose it, use it for. You can also use lavender in bug spray because it has some bug repelling properties in it as well. And also as like an after sun spray, you can use lavender oil in that when you feel like your skin has just had a little bit too much sun. You know when it's not quite burnt but when it feels just like dried out and almost like burnt but not. You can use an after spray with lavender in that and that really helps to soothe with a bit of aloe vera. So many different things. So do check out the blog post below for a few, a few ideas on what to use lavender oil for. 
if you're struggling to find ways to use it. But I'm going to now just drain these out and put them into my bottles. When it comes to the lavender vodka oil, it's a bit different to the coconut oil. So when straining it out, just simply pour it through a mesh, fine mesh strainer into a glass container, or you can use a plastic one just to pour with. And then with the flower buds, you can just compost them, which is what I did. After you've strained it out, pour it into a glass jar and cover with a cheesecloth or coffee filter and allow it to sit undisturbed for about one week. This will allow the alcohol to evaporate from the jar, leaving essential oil as the result. There may be some sediment at the bottom, which is totally fine, but if it bothers you, for instance if you're giving it as a gift, just strain it out again with a clean coffee filter or another fine mesh strainer into a littered storage jar. I like to store the oil in dark colored glass jars like dark opaque apothecary jars just to protect the actives in the oil. Then you can store it in your pantry or in a linen closet out of direct sunlight. Then it's ready to use for whenever you need it. Now for the coconut oil one, once it's finished infusing, you again can strain it out using a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth. Just pour the mixture through the strainer into a clean glass jar or into a little plastic pouring container just to make it easier to pour into the bottles later on. Then store the oil in a cool dark place in those nice dark apothecary jars and it will keep for up to one year. There we have it. One is coconut oil. You can't really tell when they're in the bottle because they both look the same. But one is coconut oil and one is with vodka. And I must say, if you were to make one, I would probably prefer the vodka one. Just don't leave it for as long because I love the smell and it actually smells a lot stronger than the coconut oil. The coconut oil one is just very faint. So if you really want that lavender smell, um, yeah, go with the vodka one. But if you're just using it for like skin ailments and things like that, or like just to use it on skin or as like a soothing thing and we just apply it onto your body, you could use the coconut oil one because it doesn't need to be so strong because you're absorbing it into your body. But if you want the aromatherapy version, like aspect of it, you may want to use the vodka version because it actually is a bit stronger, the lavender smell and that. But yeah, that's just my tip. <laughs> If you want to make it yourself now this isn't true essential oil because if you read my blog post I do go into further detail essential oils are made by diffusing uh, with like a diffusing method you need like the special diffusing equipment where it like separates the like the water so like the lavender water or lavender yeah like kind of if you were to use roses you get rose water and things like that so it separates the water so the lavender water from the oil <coughs> So you have like the water part and then you have the oil on top if you see like on YouTube there's some videos that show how to do it and the lavender oil or whatever plant you're using the oil will sit on top and that's the essential oils so you need a special machine for that but if you don't have that this is your own DIY version of making lavender oil or lavender essential oil but not quite essential oil like more lavender oil yeah I feel like I just rambled on that that whole time by the way FYI I got a new shirt from vegan vibes this is not sponsored by the way this is just me sharing my awesome new purchase because I never get anything new but I saw this my sister linked me to their site I just love this um, t-shirt it's like a, a vegan style t-shirt I just loved it because it had the um, polar bears on it and it goes act for Arctic so I'm such a big like conservationist. I actually want to do marine conservation next year. So exciting news. I'm going to study up near Byron Bay next year for marine conservation, like doing study up there. But that's like a whole other topic that I can talk in another video. But I just love, like a big advocate for like, you know, helping with climate change and stopping 
like the Arctic ice melting because that actually reflects a lot of the sunlight that we get in Earth. It reflects it back into the atmosphere or into space, preventing the Earth from heating up so much. But when that ice goes, a lot of the heat is stays in like in our planet, like and is absorbed by the seas and that heats up the water in turn melting more of the ice and it's just like a vicious cycle and it's really sad to see when the um, polar bears and other arctic animals that are affected by it I got another shirt but I'll show that in a different video but yeah that's basically my video tutorial on how to make lavender oil I hope you guys enjoyed it I had so much fun making it it does take a little bit longer to make so you do need to leave a week aside just to let it kind of infuse but once that's finished you guys have already to make lavender oil to use in awesome DIY recipes or just for on your skin and things like that to help with sunburn, uh, skin conditions, to help with just calming and soothing, help with sleep, so many different things. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope to see you guys in my future videos and do please share with me if you guys enjoyed today's video or if you have made lavender oil or other oils yourself and how you did that because I would love to try out whatever oils you guys made too. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for sticking this, out this video to the end. I know it can be long sometimes and I tend to ramble. Don't mind my rambling. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Bye. Even if I try